Welcome to this Beyond Printer Delivery e-learning session. This uh, is a kind of repeat of the Getting Started uh, video. Uh, if you haven't seen that, I, I recommend you see that first. Um, but what we are about to show is not really something we recommend you do because it's very much easier to just to use the wizard. But this is more to teach you if you are very interested in what is actually going on behind the scenes and how everything fits together. This is probably the best video to understand that, so I would recommend you see this, but I don't recommend you do this. Uh, instead, once you know what this is, use the wizard, let it do all the, the boring steps uh, for you, and then tweak from there. But uh, let's get into the system and uh, see how you would actually set something up without using the wizard. So here we are in business one and the B1 printer delivery wizard is up, but we will just close it because we want to set uh, it up manually. And we're gonna set it up manually for sales order, most common object, but the principle of all of them are actually the same. Um, and we're gonna set it up simple uh, because again, in a normal scenario, I will just click this, do this, and then tweak from there. But in our case, uh, we want to do it uh, completely manual. So let's get into it. Up under Administration, Add-ons, B1 Usability Package, Module Configuration, B1 Print, and Delivery. Every option is in here. Um, the first one you might need to do is set up database information. Uh, you might already have it, uh, but if you haven't, just go in and check and see if they have some connections. What you will get out of the box, no matter if you do it or not, is mass deliveries. So they will already be there with all the different ones, uh, with or without you using the, the wizard. So that's not something you need to, to think about. But right now, as we see, Go to a sales order. There will be no print and delivery, no reports found. Uh, you should set something up. And in the same manner, in mass delivery, there's nothing to work with. The same would be for schedule. So in order to set it up, everything as we have seen in the overview videos revolves around the report configuration. So we have it here. And we will just set up, I will go fairly through, uh, quickly to each of these screens, not to take everything in details. There will be different uh, separate videos on every single little field in, in each one of these. So in our case, it's just a sales order. And we would say that that is in sales and sales order. Then we would need to have a crystal report. And since it's an out of the box setup, we don't have any. So we would need to create a new one. We would call it documents, or you could have a specific crystal only for the sales order. In our case, we tend to use the same for multiple. So I will just quickly grab a crystal report. If you uh, don't use the wizard, you wouldn't have all these out of the box ones. You can download them from our help center in uh, support.bomit.com. Uh, but you could also use your own crystal reports. In my case, I will use our documents uh, report. And in this case, it requires two parameters that we can auto fill with doc key and object data. If you have more, you need to figure out how to uh, satisfy the crystal report, of course. So now we have the crystal report uh, and we need to set up the various options for it. So the print button, if we are, are to print, you don't need to set it up if you never want to print anything. But uh, if you are, then we need a report action. And that report action is most likely set up to be a print uh, report. So let's put that in and say print. Yeah, let's just call it print. And we'll just go from the default printer, so no more setup is needed. For the print preview, again, we need a report action. It's not the print one we have, so let's open again and get 
our report that is called show report. So let's just make that show. We add it. Add button is not default, but you could set up that it would print it every time or emailed and so on. Email, let's set that up. Bit more advanced setup, but we will go to it fairly quickly. Again, separate e-learnings. So email documents. Email, a subject, here is your order, somebody text. Again, if you use the wizard, you will get some predefined text and so on. Sales order, who should get it down here, it's the two the default contact person of the document. We use Outlook, we don't want to send it in the server. Or if we do, we could go in and find our Exchange or SMTP setting. We will add, I actually need a server. Let's just make a dummy one here. Again, different uh, set it from mail go we now have a SMTP so we can add so we have the email up and running PDF is very normal to set up so that's the button up here so again we will create a report action would use safe report. We would choose where it should go. It could be D cola or and then some name, sales order, and some dynamic syntax to get the number in that. So we just check this so we get it. Uh, or we can set it to open after the fact. That's also an option. So we go in there. And then there will probably not be too many other settings you would set up. Only if you want the Word button, Excel button, Fax button, or SHP document print. We really don't use them uh, as such. Uh, there is default for document printing, but that's just legacy in, in my mind. So we would add this. And now everything should be possible for the sales order. So if we go to the sales order, go to one of them and press generation, it now runs. If we run PDF, it will open the PDF and you can see it's in decoder documents. Normally you would use a, a UNC folder of course, uh, so, so it's on the shared. If we email, the email will come here. Here's your order, some text and so on. And that was just one. Again, the wizard will take care of making all of these uh, settings uh, for you in these several uh, different options if you want. So if we just take a look, let's take purchase order just to see what happens when it uh, does its work. We can now go to report configuration. There will be one more purchase order. It created this sales and purchase document object. You could switch out with your manual one. It created a out the box uh, print one. It created a show report, a safe report. So that is what you have here. Uh, so essentially it just does did exactly the same as we did, just much faster. And it's, uh, in my book, very much easier to just tweak the out-of-the-box ones, take a different crystal, 
write a different uh, text in the email and so on. But you are you can go completely uh, manual in this uh, as we saw here. And ag again, this is mostly to see the different uh, interactions that are in the system. So with that, thank you for attending. Hope it was beneficial.